Thanks for clicking on Conversations with Crosswinds Counseling. I'm Curtis Smith, and I invite you to subscribe to our podcast and to like and share it as well. I hope you enjoy today's episode. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Conversations with Crosswinds Counseling. I'm your host, Curtis Smith. We could call this podcast Two Beautiful Bald Guys. <laughs> Sean, I love the hairdo. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think soon I might go to a goatee. Okay. I, I don't know. What do you think? Do you? I think it's a no-brainer. Do you? you should do you do ever it. think about the full beard look? Or I, I tried. Uh, it doesn't grow well. It doesn't? You know. Mine grows well, but it's so white. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I might try a goatee for a while. That is not going to be the topic of our podcast today. It's not what we're going to spend our time talking about, even though I'm super into the bald thing <laughs> <laughs> for the last couple of months. Let's let's be serious, though, and talk about why we are here. And we're talking about Crosswinds Counseling, obviously, and the EAP program at Crosswinds, which has been around for several years, but has really kind of been revamped and retooled and is making incredible impact in our community. Sean, give us kind of an overview of what the EAP program at Crosswinds is. Sure. Uh, we are currently hoping to be serving over 100 companies in the community soon. Wow. Um, we're pretty close to 75. Okay. Um, I'm pretty confident we'll be end of July, um, a little bit over 80. Um, and so what we're doing is just connecting um, with employers, helping them care for their employees a little bit better than they ever have. What does that look like? So people hear EAP, Employee mm -hmm. Assistance Program, and they think all kinds of things. You can you can put a lot of things under the umbrella of sure. EAP. Here we're obviously talking about counseling, mental health, therapy. Mm -hmm. What does Crosswinds offer companies looking for those things in the EAP space? Sure. Um, in the EAP space, often there is somewhat of a disconnect. It can very often be in a benefit that folks forget that they have. Hmm. Um, so we've really spent time just being intentional um, about serving our customer base well um, by just revamping the whole thought process. Um, so what the EAP program does, it helps the employer meet their employees where they're at and give them a benefit that helps them immediately. And what we have found is at a pretty high level, like roughly around 20%, it's helping even with like retention. Tell me about that. What? How does this impact productivity, retention, sure. the things that that employers are are so concerned about and have to be in, in today's work environment? How does the counseling that Crosswinds provides through an EAP program? How does that translate into retention and productivity and all sure. those other things? That's a fantastic question. So. What we've gotten, as I've met and met with several um, employers, even yeah. some customers we have, the question I always ask is, what are you struggling with? What are you struggling with as an organization? And across the board, it has always been we are struggling with retention mm. and we're struggling finding the right people. Yeah. Um, so the, the way I think about the, our EAP program, it, it addresses that issue, but a little bit differently. What we find most companies are not recognizing that mental health, having mental health cracks, I guess, in your life causes a lot of the turnover. So most turnover on the day-to-day -day basis, if I'm having an absentee issue problem with my company, for example, 46% of that is due to some kind of mental health issue. Wow. I guess from an outside perspective, mm -hmm. we often think that retention or lack of satisfaction in a job might be about the actual job, the, yeah. the tasks that somebody is at being asked to do. They don't want to do it. They don't like it. It's not a great fit. Maybe it's money. That, that often comes to mind. I could make more money elsewhere. Or I, I'm going to try to make more money. But it sounds like what you're learning from so many of our partners is those aren't the things that so often lead to people changing jobs. And it's such a high cost for employers yeah. when, they, when they lose people and have to replace them. Yeah, so the biggest driver, um, I mean, there's several factors, but the, the way we can be um, on top of and even predict the outcome is by looking at engagement. Hmm. Um, so pretty much across the board, every company has anywhere from 16 to 19% of employees that are just not content. And likely, they'll leave mostly no matter what you do. <laughs> there's a bigger group um, that's at near 53% wow. from year to year <clears throat> that are in the not actively engaged, meaning they're checking the boxes, they're not doing anything good nor bad, um, they're just kind of going through the motions. 
And there's a group on the other side of that. It's about 20%, 18 to 20% that are actively engaged. <clears throat> Those are the individuals that are coming to work. They're bringing their A game. They're making impact and making a difference. <clears throat> if we can move um, 15 or 20% from any group, it radically changes the culture of organizations. And I would think that middle group is the one that is most easily moved, right? Because mm. it could go either direction. Yeah. You can go down and get worse, get less engaged, uh -huh. or you can move up and get more engaged. So I assume that you're kind of focused in on that middle group. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Wow. Really interesting stuff to think about. Tell me about the kind of companies that Crosswinds works with in the EAP space. Sure. It's all over the map, right? It is. Big, small, faith-based, not faith-based. Yeah, it's broad. We have anywhere from construction companies um, to churches um, to small um, five individual operations. Wow. Um, and what we one of the things that uh, has really gotten, especially at the, the C-level position, um, when they're trying to quantify, is this reasonable for us to spend money on it? <laughs> is, so I, I have a chart that I share with them. And it shows them for every 100 employees. So, for example, if you have employees making $45,000 a year, what often gets missed in those retention conversations is a bottom line impact. Mm -hmm. The bottom line impact of not getting that right is $400,000. Wow. Mental health won't fix that 100%, but we feel confident it fixes it about 20 or 25. Wow. So if someone's watching the podcast today, Sean, and they're thinking, I have a small operation or I have a huge operation uh -huh. with employees in many states. I have a faith-based operation. I work at a church. I, I work at a, a place that is really secular. Uh -huh. All those lines blur, right? I mean, like crosswinds can help them no matter where they find themselves in the business sector. They can, yeah. yeah. What would you say to somebody right now who's watching the podcast thinking, I wonder if this is something I should offer to my employees? Uh, I would tell them to reach out and we can sit down and just do an analysis. And what I've found a hundred percent of the time when somebody understands the process and the data, they can't raise their hand fast enough to work with us. Really? Because um, all the therapy we do is evidence-based. So evidence-based is how we get our work done. Faith-based as an organization is who we are. Mm. And you're nearing 75 companies, mm -hmm. and it really just started just a handful of years ago. So to go from zero to 75 awfully quickly tells me something is going right. There's something that Crosswinds is doing with the EAP work is really resonating with companies out there. Yeah, we are so fortunate. Like in our, our therapists, we have the best therapists in the business. Our NPS score, so our net promoter score, is 83 which, if you don't understand net promoter score or don't know it, um, like 20, 25 is really good. Like, like a, yeah. if you have a 25 or a 30, you're kind of like world class. You're, you're leading your industry in NPS. So 83 is off the charts. It's off the charts. So 50 is considered like a unicorn. <laughs> uh, and we're 83. And so we're not the best in the area. We're the best in the country at what we do. Wow. That is amazing. Tell me about utilization of the mm -hmm. EAP uh, offering, because I know that's another uh, an area of concern. You you mentioned briefly that a lot of people kind of forget they have it, because when you don't need counseling, uh, it kind of slips your mind, right? You don't sure. think about it. But when you need it, you need it, and you need uh, it badly. Um, so for maybe someone who's out there who's either an employer – Mm -hmm. or maybe someone who's watching right now who works at a company that offers Crosswinds Counseling through EAP, what do they need to do to get engaged with the offering that they do have? Sure. It, we have made it easier than it's ever been. Um, there's a few ways you can call in, which is the first way. Um, you can send an email. You can even go on the website. We now have it set up where you can schedule your own appointment. Mm. So crosswindscounseling.org is a great place to find more out about Sean and contact Sean, or find out more about our EAP program in general. If you're already with an organization that offers EAP counseling, you can go on and schedule yourself for counseling. It's amazing. Sean, thank you so much uh, for a look at a program that has really grown in the last couple of years and is helping thousands and thousands of people and hopefully many more in the very near future. Really appreciate your time yeah, today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us as well. We'll see you next time on Conversations with Crosswinds Counseling. 
Thanks for watching Conversations with Crosswinds Counseling today. I hope it was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss an episode. Like and share it as well. We appreciate that and hope you have a great day.